Have you ever played a game of chess on chess.com and after the game you gained or lost points? Did you ever want to know why you have points in the first place or why people of a certain level lose points differently than you do? Did you even know that this rating system made for chess is also used for sports and video games like PUBG and League of Legends? Well, I'm gonna walk you through how the chess rating system works. I'll try to make the equation as simple as I possibly can because meh, why not? Let's begin. All right, so first things first, the points are called ELO from the ELO rating system. And don't really think of them as points, but more so as currency. Everyone that has ELO trades ELO with one another. If someone new gets into the game, they're assigned an arbitrary number of ELO, 1400 is a great start, they're in printing more ELO. That's right, you've heard it here, folks. That theoretically means every time someone new on chess.com receives an ELO score, chess.com will experience ELO inflation and add more ELO for people to trade off with. That also means that if you accumulate 1000 ELO, ELO score in 2010, you would have to get a higher ELO score today to be at the same skill level back in 2010. Another thing to take note of is that the word ELO isn't shortened for anything. It's the last name of the creator of the system, Arpad ELO, who was a massive fan of chess. The system was and is so popular that basketball, American football, FIFA, various video games, and ChatGPT use it. Even Tinder used to use it. Imagine that. Chess influenced your dating life. So, how does it work? Hold on, just one more thing to mention. We're going to be talking about the basic ELO rating system, not the ones that basketball or chess.com use even though we'll use chess.com for reference this is more for if you're making your own chess club or competitive club and want to keep track of the scores you could use this equation also while looking at the equation we'll be using hikaru and danya as examples all right less talky talky more walkie walkie let's begin this is the entirety of the elo ranking system it's a relationship of equations that help each other out the first equation you have to look at is this one which overall updates your rating these little letters attached to bigger letters are called subscripts. They help us specify what person we're talking about in this equation. The big R stands for rating, and this tick mark just means that it's the updated version of this. For figuring out Hikaru's new ELO score, Hikaru will replace A and Danya will replace B. So it reads like, the new ELO score of Hikaru equals Hikaru's current score plus K. What is K, you ask? Boy, I'm glad you asked. Chess.com says that the International Chess Federation sets K at 40 if you're a new player with less than 30 games, K is 20 as long as a player stays under 2400 ELO, and K is 10 if a player remains at 2400 ELO and above. In dumb dumb terms, K depends on the experience you have with the game and is the reason why you may gain or lose ELO differently than pro chess players or newbies. Since Hikaru's ELO score is above 2400, K will be set at 10. Now the equation reads as, the new ELO score of Hikaru equals Hikaru's current score plus 10 because Hikaru has more than 2400 ELO times whatever these are in the parentheses. Let's break them down. A is Hikaru, we already went over this, and the S is the result of the chess match that finished. It can be one of these three numbers, 0, 1, or 0 0.5. 0 represents a loss, 1 represents a win, and 0 0.5 represents a draw. For this video's sake, let's say Hikaru won against Danya, so S equals 1. E is the expected outcome of the match, which needs an equation to figure it out, so we'll get to that in a moment. So far, this equation reads, the new ELO score of Hikaru equals Hikaru's current score plus 10 because Hikaru has more than 2400 ELO times one because Hikaru won against his opponent minus the expected outcome. All right, before we get into the expected outcome, we'll have to talk about layers of abstraction and abstraction in this case just makes things easier to understand. For instance, instead of calling this a self-propelling fuel injected internal combustion engine, we just call it a car because it's easier to understand. Same with the expected outcome symbol. It's also a layer of abstraction to which if we pop open the hood, it means this equation. The cues are another layer of abstraction if you pop open the hood, they look like this. Let's break the cues down. We already know this equals Hikaru's current score, but don't worry about the numbers too much. These numbers are recommended to be used though. They're called constants and just make sure the ELO rating doesn't go crazy or give an extreme number of ELO. To describe constants, think of them as an anchor for a ship. They make sure that the boat doesn't drift away from the seaport, but if you don't use it, your ship could drift all the way to Antarctica or New Zealand or Brazil. The cue for Danya is the same equation, but just change Hikaru's current rating to Danya's current rating. We don't actually need the cues though, so in actuality, Hikaru's expected outcome looks like this. 
If you calculated all that, you're basically done with updating Hikaru's ELO. So it reads out like this. The new ELO score of Hikaru equals Hikaru's current score plus 10 because Hikaru's ELO score is above 2400 times one because Hikaru won minus the expected outcome to which is 10 to the power of Hikaru's rating divided by 400. Then you divide that by the result provided by the equation above plus the result of Danya's. So finally, Hikaru's current score plus 10 times one minus Hikaru's expected outcome calculation equals Hikaru's updated ELO. Finding the opponent's updated ELO is easy. Wherever Hikaru appears in the equation, replace it with Danya and vice versa. And yeah, that's basically it. Now here's the thing. This equation goes way beyond chess. It can be used for most things that are competitive. Want to set up a pool club with a bunch of pals and keep track of who's better? Use ELO. Cooking competition? ELO. Trivia, fantasy sports, or even flipping a coin? ELO, ELO, ELO. Now that you know this equation, you can put value on things that previously didn't have value. If you don't remember how ELO works, you can always use this video for reference. If you found this informative, please don't hesitate to subscribe or like the video or whatever. If you want more content, I also stream chess on Twitch if you want to pop in and say hello. But regardless, thank you for watching.